there are certain things that we can't do on a screen. There are certain things that really require interaction. And, and part of that is, you know, some mystery teachings most mystery teachings require a sacred container. There has to be a space that you are creating that you can, um, you know, really set up in the appropriate way. And uh, and so that's, you know, that's the next level. The next level is being together one-on-one. Um, -on -one. And I'm really evolving the way that I do that. You know, I've been doing, you know, group experiences around the world since, uh, since 2006 uh, for 17 years. But um, they're really evolving into a traveling, the traveling mystery school kind of experience. Um, these are not vacations. They're fun. <laughs> they're amazing. But they are experiential in terms of, um, of spirit. You know, um, they're historically and spiritually enriching and interesting. So um, once a year, we do one in America, which is a long weekend, uh, the first week of December. And this year, we are doing one in Santa Fe. And we have, um, it's our 10th anniversary. We've been doing Magdalene conferences since 2013. So I'm excited that it's the 10th year. I even have one or two women who have been with me in every single conference for the last 10 years. So I'm excited to honor them this year uh, for being there. And um, the December conference is really special. You know, it's a, and um, you, well, you've been to, you've been to several of them. Um, you know, there is a, there's a camaraderie that happens in that space. There's a community building that happens in that space. Um, but it also, it's a real opportunity for me to do things that I can't do on a screen, uh, and to have this face-to-face -face interaction with people and to be able to, to share with people one-on-one -on -one. because the Magdalene conferences, conference makes it sound, sound gigantic. They're not usually between 40 and 60 people. Um, depending on the location. So it's still very manageable. It still gives us a lot of, you know, a lot of time to, to interact personally uh, and be one-on-one -on -one, uh, in that type of thing. So um, over the 10 years that we have been doing Magdalene conferences, Santa Fe has been uh, the favorite. It's always been the favorite location. Santa Fe it, at, in December, if you've never been there, it is magical. It's just enchanted beautiful, beautiful place to be. And so the power of Santa Fe really helps you to hold that space. You know, I'm a firm believer in working with the land and working with the land to hold the container of what you're trying to bring, um, to bring out energetically and emotionally and everything else is really important. And Santa Fe, I think, holds us uh, better than any other location in America that I have ever worked in. So super excited to be back in Santa Fe this year. Um, I'm going to be teaching things I have never taught in person ever. First time in Santa Fe. So it's a big deal. First time in Santa Fe, I'm going to be teaching things that come directly from the Magdalene traditions in France that I have never taught. There were things that were taught to me in the 1990s from my primary teachers. And the reason I've made this decision is it's time. It's time for this information to, to spread more widely. You know, some of them are just really simple but incredibly profound techniques for transforming those those aspects of our lives that really need to be sort of transformed into light so that we can move forward. So we're going to be talking in Santa Fe about prayer and meditation, what's the difference, uh, and how to approach them through this Magdalene tradition. Um, so that's a big thing that's going to be happening in Santa Fe. Um, you know, also one of the things that really hit me during this period of meditation that I've been in here is that every single one of my master teachers is dead. Every single one of them. Every one of my master teachers is in spirit. So I shouldn't say they're dead. Dead is, dead is the, the wrong way to look at it. It's dramatic. Um, but it is sometimes the way you have to look at it, right? So there's that piece of me that's like, okay, you got to deal with this whole concept of mortality, right? We're not here forever. And my realization is that because every one of my master teachers in Ireland, in Scotland, in France, in Italy, in Egypt is no longer here, and I am the collective of all of that wisdom from all of those people. And so I have this incredibly precious thing. It's like, you know, having the Library of Alexandria in your body. And if anything happens to me before I can share it, it would be a 
tragedy to not have shared this information with people. And so that's the responsibility that I'm feeling right now um, in, a, in, a, in a good way, but it's heavy. And so it's really time for me to find ways to get this out there. It was all, it was all leading to this. And so I'm just, you know, super humbled and super grateful uh, for the journey that I've been on and um, super excited to share it with everybody uh, and hope people will, will, will decide to come and join us because, um, you know, if it's, it's doing this together that uh, makes it um, so much more enjoyable. And there's, there's so much joy in this process. You know, it's, it's um, you know, that's, I think one of the things I also want to kind of close with is how much fun we have, right? We have an amazing time when we're all together in these spaces. There's, there's a real celebratory uh, sense in it. I mean, it, we go really, really deep, but we go there together and there's something in doing that that is so bonding and it does create this incredible community and this incredible strength and this amazing network. So I just want to invite everybody who is called uh, to come and join us, whether it's in Patreon, whether it's this year in Santa Fe, whether it's somewhere else in the world next year, France or Egypt. Um, and uh, I'd, I'd love to see you there.